We're calling in a forensic expert to assist us in telling exactly where our victim was standing and where the offender shot her from. It's down here. If our tests show us that she couldn't see who shot her, then Kurt is very viable. OK, hey, Pete, what do we got? All right, I have quite a bit of information for you. Sweet. We spent a lot of time on the trajectory and on the blood spatter. OK. So I have 12 defects in the door. I was able to derive this general area of origin for the blood spatter. OK. She would have been standing somewhere right around here. Somewhere around this area, plus or minus a few inches. Let, let's turn on the laser, and then we'll sort of see where the, where the pieces come together. Fair enough. OK, so now I've got my dot. I'm going to kill the lights, send the fog out. Oh, wow. That's incredible. That's pretty cool. That is absolutely incredible. Now you can consider anywhere along this line, there could be a muzzle of a shotgun. Keep that in mind. OK, I got you. OK, Pete, based on where you're standing, is it possible that the shooter turns first, shoots the, the father laying in the bed, and then just turns the shotgun and shoots the mother coming out of the bathroom. If we use my ruler as a, as a shotgun, let's say hypothetically. OK. Someone walks into the room, I shoot at the victim in bed, and right. I, can, I can move and I can shoot oh, here. Oh, that, sound, that sounds feasible. That's one scenario. I know, that I know, but it, it, it looks good.